Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I need to mend a hole in a pair of jeans. Now, I want to do an invisible mending. I mean, we can always put patches over top of holes, but in this case, I don't mind that we see the hole. I just want to secure it so it doesn't get any bigger. So this hole is in the back pocket of a pair of jeans, and this is a common area for those holes to happen. With the wallets and cell phones in our pocket, it does put that pull right here in that area. Now the jeans already have that distressed look, so I don't want to put a patch over top of it or completely cover it. I don't mind that we have that hole. I just don't want it to get bigger and I want to secure it. Whenever we're working on jeans, we definitely need to use a jean needle. It's designed to sew exactly that, our jeans. Now Schmetz does have a new gold needle out. Not only is that gold very pretty, but this needle now has a titanium coating. That titanium coating means we are going to be able to go through that fabric a lot more without that end being compromised. It has a medium round end, which is perfect for going through that denim. And the new needle, it has an optimized blade, which means it's sort of reinforced. It's a stronger area. So it's a stronger needle. It's got the titanium, so it's going to go through that fabric a lot more, which means we're gonna be able to use that needle a lot longer. When we look at the packaging, it tells us we have the gold needle, it tells us the machine size, and if you're looking for the number, the number's not at the bottom. It's up here at the top. I'll put a piece of paper in there so you can see that size. The numbers are not side by side. They're on top of another. But this is still that 100 slash 16. So I'm going to set up my machine with that gold needle, and then I have to find a thread. I do want to find a thread that's going to blend into those fibers. The best thing to do is just take off a pile and just make like a little bird's nest and stick it there. If it's not too noticeable, then that's the one we're going to use. So I have the thread to match. Now I need to put a reinforcement. And that is going to be a soft pair of jeans. I do collect old jeans and this piece was one that was by the knee. So it's soft and it's thinner than the heavy denim. And that's what I want underneath. This is still has a lot of wear to it, but that softness is going to be more comfortable against the body. And I'm going to take a patch and I do want it a lot bigger than that hole. And I'm going to be trimming this down after, but I do want it a lot bigger and it's going to go underneath. I do want to keep all of this frayed thread there, so I'm not going to trim anything off, but I do have that patch underneath. I am going to do a straight stitch coming up this area, then get my walking foot on and do a stitch along this area. So that's just gonna anchor that patch on for me. I will then do some stitching following the direction of the denim. So I'm going to be stitching and I'm coming down. If we take the stitching and go into another direction, you're going to notice that you have the threads there. But if you follow that grain line, it's not going to be as noticeable. And I do not need to fill it in solid. I just want to anchor this so that this doesn't keep pulling off but it still has that distressed look. So this is what that back looks like. That was the outside of the pocket. And then these were the lines that followed the stitching. So when we look at the front, you can barely see those stitching lines that have held it all together. And once this is worn a little bit, those threads are going to disappear right into that stitching. So I still have that hole, but it's strong 
and it's not going to come apart. For the back, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and trim close to that stitching. And if you have a pair of pinking shears, this is a great time to use it. I do want to trim that patch as close as I can to those stitching lines. So I do have an irregular patch and using that old denim it's a little bit softer so that edging is also going to be softer. And that's all there is to mending a hole and still keeping the look of that distressed hole. So the jean needle can be used for more than just jeans. We can use it for canvas, oil cloth, even nylon strapping. This is an extra strong needle, so it's going to go through that heavy fabric. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the gold needles, but you'll be able to find these at most of your local sewing and hobby stores. And thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're talking about or fixing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.